How Great Thou Art is one of the great songs of the faith. This hymn helps us communicate what a wonderful God we have. Psalm 139 also declares God's greatness in a memorable way, and studying it can help us better comprehend and praise our wonderful God. 1. God's Omniscience Psalm 139, verse 1, New King James Version God's perfect knowledge of man for the chief musician. A Psalm of David O Lord, you have searched me and known me. David, the author, began by declaring that God knew everything about him. The name for this trait is omniscience, which simply means having all information. Nothing ever occurs to God. He already knows everything there is to know. David emphasized God's omniscience by claiming that the Lord had searched and known him. The Hebrew word for seek implies to carefully examine or explore. This phrase was used to describe the search for a treasure. David was expressing how important it was for God to know him. Psalm 139 verses 2 and 3, New King James Version You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. God certainly knows everything there is to know about us. He is aware of what we are thinking and doing. He's aware of where we've been and where we're heading. God sees through our deeds and understands our intentions. Psalm 139 verse 4, New King James Version For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. God knows what we will say before we open our tongues. This helps us understand David's plea in Psalm 19 verse 14. Psalm 19 verse 14 New King James Version Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 139, verse 5, New King James Version You have hedged behind me and before, and laid your hand upon me. David went on to describe God's omniscience by saying that God had hedged him behind and before which suggests that God was encircling or hemming him in. We are physically surrounded by God's knowledge. He has complete power over our lives. Psalm 139, verse 6, New King James Version Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain it. God's omniscience simply overwhelmed David. Paul had a comparable experience. We will be awed and humbled if we take the time to reflect on God's greatness. Romans 11 verse 33, New King James Version Oh, the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are His judgments and His ways past finding out! 2. God's Omnipresence Psalm 139 verse 7, New King James Version where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? God's omnipresence says that He is everywhere at the same time. Tell me where God is, a skeptic may ask, but a believer can easily reply, Tell me where God is not. Psalm 139 verses 8 to 10, New King James Version If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, Behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. David demonstrated the reality of God's omnipresence. He understood he couldn't get away from God. Heaven is his throne, but he also judges in hell. Isaiah 66 verse 1, New King James Version Thus says the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you will build me? And where is the place of my rest? Matthew 25, verse 41, New King James Version Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Psalm 139, verse 12, New King James Version Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you, but the night shines as the day. 
the darkness and the light are both alike to you. David also considered how impossible it was to hide from God. Adam and Eve found that it was impossible to hide from God. For some, God's omnipresence turns the world into a prison. For believers, however, this reality means that God is always present to help us, no matter where we are or what we are going through. 3. God's Omnipotence Lord God Almighty is one of God's titles. Revelation 11 verse 17, New King James Version, saying, We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come, because you have taken your great power and reigned. Revelation 15 verse 3, New King James Version. They sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the Saints. It says God is omnipotent. He has the ability to do everything and anything. David might easily have used the creation of the universe to demonstrate God's power, but instead he picked the miracle of a newborn. He said that the Lord created his inside organs. Surprisingly, when David used the phrase, covered me in the womb, he was expressing exactly what scientists now believe happens during conception and the growth of a newborn in its mother's womb. Psalm 139 verse 14, New King James Version. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. Each of us began as a single cell that divided and divided again until we matured into a fully-fledged human body made up of millions of cells. The conception of human life is overseen by God himself. As a result, no one has the right to end a human life. We should be reminded of his power every time we look at a person. David used the phrase fearfully and wonderfully made in reference to the miracle and mystery of birth. David's continuous description indicates that he felt he was created by God. Our DNA just validates what God has always said about humanity. Psalm 139 verse 16, New King James Version. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they were all written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. David went on to say that God saw him before he was born and knew everything about him from start to finish. He saw our need for Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. That is why our great God decided in the councils of eternity to send his Son to die on the cross for our sins. Revelation 13 verse 8, New King James Version. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Psalm 139 verses 17 and 18, New King James Version. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. As David began to study God's majesty and power, he recognized that God had not only created him, but also claimed him. Psalm 139 verses 19 to 22, New King James Version. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! Depart from me, therefore, you bloodthirsty men, for they speak against you wickedly. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O Lord, who hate you? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. After pondering on God's majesty, David could only feel contempt for people who were not humbled and awed by it. He begged the Lord to carry out his righteous judgment on the wicked and pledged his commitment to him. Psalm 139 verses 23 and 24, New King James Version. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties, and see if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. The psalm finishes with David requesting that his great God search and test him. 
David recognized the importance of having God guide and direct his life. Whether we consider the fact that God knows everything, his omniscience, is everywhere, his omnipresence, or is all-powerful, his omnipotence, our only answer is, O Lord my God, how great you are! Take time each day to reflect on God's majesty and to worship him not only for his majesty, but also for his love for you. He definitely is deserving. Talk about seeing the big picture. In this psalm, David explores the depths of God's omniscience, omnipotence, and omnipresence. David's dynamic and close relationship with God influences his outlook on life. The king of Israel was well aware that he was not alone. He reveled in the fact that he could draw on God's vast wisdom, that he could never escape God or his justice, and that he could rely on God's might anytime he needed it. Israel's leader, Yahweh, had a leader of his own. Consider the advantages of having an intimate relationship with God as your leader. First and foremost, God is aware of every thought, every word, and every movement we make. Second, God directs us no matter where we go. Third, God knows no hopeless or helpless situations. Fourth, God formed every complex detail of our bodies, minds, and spirits. Fifth, God constantly thinks of us and is concerned with the details of our lives. Sixth, God searches our hearts and will purify our motives.